great college basketball game. You know, just truly um, Ohio State, terrific and real physical and well coached. So um, to be able to come with a W at 45 minutes, it was a it was a really you know difficult basketball game. But these guys, they all stepped up, and you know it was one of those games. Ball wasn't going in early, but we just stayed the course. We hung with it, and our defense always gives us a chance. And you know, just just real proud. They all made big plays, and Paul does what Paul does. Cliff gets a double double. You know, everyone came off the bench. Derek made a big layup for us when we were struggling to score. Um, you know, Dean with some steals. I, I mean, just you know, Andre doing what he does. So just really great team win, great crowd. I'm very excited for uh, the students that were there, and school hasn't started yet. So very thankful. Everyone showed up and, and they saw a great college basketball game tonight. Go ahead, Jerry. Steve, Ohio State kept going inside, inside, inside down the stretch and you stopped them almost every time. What do you think about the way your defense held up against the way they were pressuring the rim there? You know, they really were. Cliff gets six blocks, so, you know, um, but everyone kind of got some huge steals. Um, you know, the freshman is, is really terrific. Um, you know, he made some big shots, um, Sensabong and um, you know, they got the ball into the post, but, uh, you know, we did, 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 did a lot of good things on the defensive end of four. They're the most efficient team offensively in the league, one of the most efficient in the country. Um, Suing is a really, a really good player. Um, you know, Mawat and everyone that played him, you know, held him seven points. That was, you know, one of our keys today. And, uh, you know, again, um, takes everybody. Uh, to make it defensively um, and uh, everyone's connected. Bobby, hey, can you talk about Watt's game, not just the <coughs> offensive, but guarding multiple players and just how he performed for you? I mean, Watt's a worker, you know, I mean, all three of these guys and all of our guys. Um, but he had to do it on both ends of the floor today, and he did an unbelievable job. How about the three, too? Huge three that he tees up and, uh, you know, eight rebounds, 15 points. And, you know, he, he was mostly taxed with, you know, justice suing the whole game, um, you know. Cam does what he does. He does what he does. Caleb, you know, when when they're all in sync that way, you know, good things happen for us. But uh, season high, couldn't come at a better time. Good job, Mo. Go ahead, Brian. Steve, 22 lead changes, 17 lead changes in the second half, back and forth. You talked about poise after the Northwestern game. What gives this team that poise to be able to hang on in a game that's just so back and forth? Like I mean, that? you know, they, they just stay the course, you know. And uh, even in the first half, I went in the locker room, I said kind of, you know, like the looks that we got, you know, they're not going, but you know, if we can't score, they can't score. And that's how we kind of just continue to grind, even getting it into overtime the way that we did. And, um, you know, they're really good. That was, you, you know, a really, really good basketball team. So a ton of respect for these guys, but down the stretch, you know, we made a few more plays than, than them. And, and uh, that was the difference. With what happened against the last time against Ohio State, was there a little bit more of an added emphasis coming, going into this one? I mean, Maybe by these guys, you know, quite honestly, I don't even think I brought it up. So, you know, like you've got to move on in this league and, you know, it was a long time ago. And uh, yeah, so but maybe, maybe they would have a different answer. But we moved on to this game and um, we got Michigan State on the road next. So we'll quickly move on to that one. Right. Steve, along that similar vein, you got teed up for the first time in two years, the second time of your head coaching career, I think. Uh, what happened on that play? What were you upset about? And what did the yeah, officials tell just, you? you know, I'm fighting for my guys. Just fighting for my guys. I thought, you know, they missed a call when, you know, fighting for my guys. Was it one moment or was it an accumulation of things? Or well, you... I, you know, I don't know. You have to ask those guys. Uh, I move on quickly after the game. So. Ready, Bobby? Yeah, Bobby and then Jerry, go ahead. Uh, one more to Steve and then one or two for the players after these other guys go. But Steve, you're uh, rebounding. They're an elite <coughs> rebounding team. You broke even with them on the boards, including in second chance points. How important was that? And what do you think of the way you guys attacked the boards as the game wore on? Seemed like it had a little edge there late. Yeah, we, you know, we had team rebounds too. And, and again, everybody chipped in. I mean, Cam sticks his nose in there for seven. And Caleb is my guy always sticking his nose in there. And, you know, we needed every single one of them. You know, Andre Hyatt, Mawat does eight, Cliff is Cliff, you know. So we need to be team rebounders. And whether one guy was boxing out and the other guy went and got it, but we were going after the boards. They understood, you know, the game plan. Uh, Caleb, as the most veteran guy who's been through the wars with this group, what does it mean for you to see your team come back and win this game after the heartbreak out in Columbus? Well, this is just, uh, like you said, man, this is especially for this team, 
Uh, I, I keep saying it all year. Well, when we do us and we play us, then we get us results. And um, I fight exactly what we did. You know, we just uh, we just strung it out and we kept fighting. Uh, we kept jabbing, and then um, that's how we we're able to come out with the win. Bobby, Steve, you have a, uh, some days now, I guess, that you prepare a little differently because you had played. You've been playing it seemingly a lot of games in a row. Yeah, I mean, the first thing is they earned the day off, so that's, yes, sir. that's the thing that they need. I do want to mention, too, the 91 team was here, so we're so thankful that those guys came back. They're awesome representatives of Rutgers, and it's nice to have. They were an awesome team, and to have those guys back, it, it was great. But these guys earned the day off, and we'll get to work as a staff, and, you know, it doesn't get any easier in this league. And obviously, when you travel on the road, you know what that's like. So we'll, we'll, we'll move on, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get our rest. Ryan and then Ellis. Through seven games, you guys are alone in second place in the Big Ten standings. I know you probably don't want to look big picture, but are you telling these guys at all the Big Ten regular season title is a no, goal? No, no, is... no, no. You guys can talk about that. We got Michigan State, and it's the best league in the country. So we don't ever look down the road. These guys know how I am, and I'll never change. So uh, we got uh, there's a lot of season left, and there's a lot of really good basketball, and there's a lot of things that go on, you know. So we got to stay focused on what's important, all that stuff. He throws the uh, 27, uh, went to the line 27 times, made 20 of them. Has been What's been the added emphasis on free throws this year? Obviously, uh, Cliff made a bunch of big ones. Cam made a bunch of big ones. So what, what, what's that like? For you know, I, I mean, you know, the guys are getting up there and, and making free throws. It's nice when you have one of the best free throw shooters in the country, you know, on your roster. But Caleb makes them. Watt makes them. You know, Cliff did a really good job today stepping up, you know. So, uh well, we got good shooters. We really didn't. I know we didn't make shots in the beginning of the game here today, but we got good shooters, very confident, and, and, and they work at it. So these guys are in the gym, and uh, you know when when you get when you can't score and you got a secondary way to score from the free throw line, it's important to just step up and make them. Right there. Uh, you just mentioned uh, you know shots didn't fall for you guys in the first half and stuff like that. Cam Spencer had five in the first half, however, came out and had 16 in the second half. Um, you know, was it an emphasis on him being more aggressive or stuff like that? I mean, I always tell the guys, you know, be aggressive and do what you do. So, um, you know, I think, you know, too, in the, in, in the first half, you know, some really good looks that we got just didn't go in. And, you know, he did a good job of getting to the free throw line. I think that was important, too, um, you know, for us. But, um, you know, I told him eventually all the, you know, shots will go in. And if you're just patient, you know, the ball will find you. And the way we run stats, we got a lot of different, you know, a lot of different looks. And, you know, when these guys are open, I want them to shoot it. I have a ton of confidence in them. Uh, obviously, you hit that big three at the end there. What's going through your mind after that shot goes in? Uh, just get a stop, you know. I felt like the game, I had a big shot, but the job wasn't finished. So I was locked in getting a stop and winning the ball game. Jerry? Steve, we've talked a lot over the years about recruiting rankings and whatnot. Is there a message? When you see a player develop the way Mawats developed, is there a message for younger players out there who are maybe overlooked or you know underrated about what they can achieve if they work hard? I mean, you know, stay the course, and, and you know these guys, all three of them, they're, they're such good workers. You know, you can really make yourself a lot better when you get to college, and you know just always understand that rankings are built, you know, based on offense, and that's fifty percent of the game, and these guys do here is defend like so no one ranks that you know they only rank guys that score so you know when I watch these guys play they have heart and they have grit and you know but we, we don't get caught up in, in the ranking stuff guys that, that work at it get better and you want know, guys that fit our locker room and that are team players and great families you know all these guys have made the Dean's list I mean so that's what I look for so rankings are you know you know, some of the last things I, you know, I look at, I watch players, I evaluate them. My staff does an unbelievable job. You know, Brandon Knight, awesome. Carl Hobbs, TJ, they do an awesome job, you know, getting guys that fit Rutgers basketball. And these guys just keep getting better, too, and that's a great sign. That's their credit. Their credit. Last one there. You'd mentioned the 91 team. Did you have a ch did they have a chance to talk with players or have a, a message and yeah, for players was, was that inspired? Them back. It was an excited locker room and they you know got a chance to say hello to all of our guys and it was great. I got to talk with them for a little bit and stuff. So it was nice to have them back and and to honor all the past you know teams. It's nice when they come back and they see this kind of environment and and now we're in a different conference and you know it's an exciting exciting time for us.